Well, good morning. We are at the deer shop. I'm gonna make another video today. Hopefully we get some excitement in. Um, we're gonna get some deer done. We'll go through the door here. Kenny's already busy. Look at him in there. Look at him. Never a dull moment. He's always busy. All right, we'll see you guys. Would you guys check this out? Look at this rack. I got in here and I didn't even realize it when I was recording my first walk through the door. That thing is wide. Man, that's a bulldozer deer. Kenny's doing a cave right now. We're getting this stuff set up. We gotta get all the mats down. We gotta adjust the tables. Turn the lights on. So our uh, the first one today is a doe, no trays, so that should be interesting. Um, they want two thirds of their burger, two thirds of the burger and one third garlic and cheese. They want steak and then for the inners, back straps and hindquarters and they want half inch. The next one's all steak at quarter inch with plain burger. Well, burger with beef. The one after that is steak, steak, steak with pork. And then steak, 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 whole primals. That's a good one. Uh, then whole inners, cut in half, back straps, and whole hind quarters. So that's a pretty good one, too. So, yeah. Some deer butt. But anyways, we're gonna get that going and I'll, I'm gonna do some random recordings today. Um, show you some, some stuff. We'll see what I, what I do, so enjoy. All right, so this is our first culprit. It, it is aging pretty good. As you can see, sometimes they get a little bit of mold, which is not bad. It doesn't hurt them at all. Um, we carve it all off, clean it all up. That's just from the aging process. Um, some of these deer have already sat outside at the, the person's house that shot it. You know, they could be up to a week, sometimes over that. Then they come here and they sit in the cooler for another week or so. Um, but yeah, this, this is actually a pretty good deer right here. Um, you can see how when they age a little bit, the blood sort of is not like nasty anymore. It turns to like a jelly. So I mean, it's still nasty, but it's not like you touch it and it's all over your glove, horrible, and all over the table. It's easier to clean when they age a little bit. And they cut so much better. They get like a leather skin that you cut that off and you're done. So anyways, yeah, I'm gonna get this one going. This one is no trays. Um, looks like they got a lung shot. They hit the front shoulder, but we're be able to see most of that because it's only right at the tip. So yeah, I'm gonna throw you on some time lapse and you can watch us do this deer. Hope you enjoy. Yeah, I'm nervous on the surface, I look fine. My brain feels heavy, my traumatized mind. And I'm so tired, I can't feel my eyes. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh. I'm petty, but I know how to lie. I feel feelings that I can't describe. I'm not breathing, but I'm still alive Whoa, oh, whoa, oh But I think I'll be alright Cause I'm not giving up, I'm not giving up yet I feel that it's my time So I'ma give it everything I'ma give it everything I got So I'ma give it everything I'ma give it everything I got Have hope, so 
many days have passed I wait around for things to change But change has not come fast I'm asking all the questions But then I question them Like what's the point of living existing When you can't see your God in flesh I'm looking for the answers All right, folks, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna break down this hind quarter. I just wanna show you how much easier it is when, when a deer has had time to age. So everybody, everybody thinks that, you know, oh, I can't, I can't let my deer hang. I can't, as long as it hangs at the right temperatures, you know, even outside, the longer you hang it, the, honestly, the better it comes out. Um, Kenny's cousin hangs his for like 35 days and then cuts it up and they are they are by the time it's done they're, they're totally covered with mold um but it's not bad because that mold actually makes the, the meat more tender but you know it's all what you want to do but i'll show you this will break down so much easier now that it's aged a little bit and they also taste better when they're aged they have more time for all that, the blood to drain out and whatnot. And I want to give you guys a little bit more cutting by uh, video towards the end of the season here, for us anyways. I mean, we've done a lot of deer. We've done a bear, moose, and we're all getting to that point where, you know, we've had enough. We want to go ice fishing so you can see how dark it is so much better so much easier to cut we'll show you that in a minute so i just took that the bottom round off now i'm going to take off the top round i usually just go down along the bone like this it's a little knuckle right there you gotta go around then you got your top round then we'll take off the sirloin or the knuckle I use the sawzall. Yeah, go ahead. He's gonna use the sawzall real quick. Take off the neck because they don't want a neck roast, but take off the neck and uh, easier to clean the carcass. Yeah, easier to clean the carcass and cut burger. Then you got your New York sirloin, and then this will all go in the burger. Then we'll spin you over here. You can see how much darker the meat is, and it's it's um, tightened up. It's not slimy. So what I'll do over here is I'll cut this fat off. Take out these veins right here. Flip her over. Then you got this leathery skin cap. I usually go right up underneath that. You can see how much easier it is to do it. So aging your deer actually makes it easier to process, in my opinion. And that'll all go over there for Nicholas to trim all the meat off for the burger. There's, there's really, really is very little waste. So there's a little muscle there, don't carve that off. But I like to make sure it's clean. Hopefully you can see. And I'm not going down very deep. Just deep enough to take off the outside cap. Get all nice cleaned up like that. Flip it over. Now you still got this little bit of veins and stuff on the side here. Just shave that off. Come onto this tip. Take that off. Some veins on the side there. Okay. Then we will flip this over. We we'll clean my bench. Then they want half inch. Go in here. We'll cut this half inch. 
But you can see how much easier it is to cut once it's aged. And plus it has a, a very distinct smell now. Yeah, that's actually a smell I like. And just like that. It's the aged smell. Yeah, aged smell. You don't, they don't want trays. So what I'll do is I put it on a tray, I put it in the bag, but I flip it off it and then it's not on a tray. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll do that again. So yeah, so that's that. I mean, I'll do the whole thing for you. Take off this cap. Throw that over there. The burger. And that might make it look easier than it is, but I take that whole outside cap off and that muscle. You don't have to dive your knife very deep. Just right on the surface and just follow the edge of it down. And then I flip it over and you can see this, there's a cap or whatever underneath there. I go right up underneath that. And if this was a roast, I wouldn't do this. I'd leave that and just cut the veins out. That seems out of steaks. I take that off. And then I go right up under here. Like that. Take out that little bit of fat and vein right there. Then I got this right here, I'll take that off. So now it lays flat. Cut off the end, it's in the burger. And then we do half inch. And like once again, like I said, when it's aged, this muscle is so much easier to cut because it's not like jelly. And then that will go onto a tray. We'll put it in the bag and get it open. Of course I can't do it. Slide her in like that, boom. Goes over here. Then we'll do your New York shore line. And I've got a lot of other videos uh, where I was cutting, doing the steaks and processing it with, uh, where they're not so, so aged. My glove rip, that's okay. I flip this over. Some people like to leave this piece underneath on the New York sort of line. I always take it off. You can see that piece. burger and I flip that back over shave it up a little bit flatten it out now the grain goes sort of like that way and then straight and then this way so I sort of level it off and then I go half inch straight across and you get the best cut out of that grain it's so awkward this is just how we do it here how I cut everything and it seems to be that I've had a lot of people that say you know this and that about the way I do it but as far as I know with our customers everybody enjoys it and that's why they come here because they like the way we do things and I'll take off the eye round Trim off the cap. And I mean, as long as we've been doing this this season, 
we're just now getting so that the deer are aged. After we came back from Thanksgiving, you could see the difference. And, and, and anybody who's getting their deer with this kind of age is actually lucky because their deer will taste better, cook better, everything. We'll go half inch. You can also smell the difference. Yeah. It don't stink at all. No. It smells great, actually. But everybody thinks that if you age something, you're rotting it, and it's not. That's not the case. But they don't want trees. <laughs> oh, I sound like Peter Griffin. <laughs> Slam that on there. Good dry round. Goes up there where Kenny's over there today, processing it. My mother will probably be here later. Then we'll go right up under and take this cap off very lightly because you don't want to make all your steak disappear. And on this side, you just want to get rid of that fat stuff on the top on the surface vein I'm only showing you this because I want you to see how much easier it is to process your deer when you blood it age a lot of people just don't know and there's a lot of people that don't believe in aging your deer they want to cut up the same day and a lot of butcher shops actually do that. They don't get a lot of animals, so they cut it up the same day. So when you're at a, a shop that gets a lot of creatures, um, and you're going to get your deer aged a little bit. Like I said, it's better. And that, friends, is how you do your hind quarter on an aged deer. I'd say, I'd say they're aged probably on anywhere from a week to two weeks. And it does not hurt them as long as you keep them in a cool area and you take care of it, and you cleaned it really good when you shot it, you'll be all right. So all right, we'll see you in a little bit when we get something interesting coming through the door or something. So hope you enjoyed that. All right, folks, we got a buck over here. What is it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Ooh. Nice. Kenny's gonna hack the head off. Yeah. Kenny, that one on the floor is almost like your eight. Same figure. That one on the floor is a little wider than mine, I think. Yeah, but his points aren't as long. Mm -hmm. Alright, wait. Oh, hold that wheelbarrow in. Yeah. Good. He might know how to do this. Might have done one or two? Yeah, one or two, yeah. This is my third one, I think. <laughs> third one's a charm. <laughs> I'm still learning how to get the things. This is my, my first buck, so. Well, it doesn't look like you did a bad job. We got her out. Yeah. I like it when they come in clean. It looks pretty clean. Thanks. We've had a bunch of come in that they've punched it bad and, yeah. Uh, no, this was a good shot, and then... There it is, if you want to view. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, now we do the important piece of work. How you want to All right, I got to go back to work. See ya. All right, we got this specimen right here. The, the shot ended up 
going through the the bottom end of the back strap you can see it right here um, this one's getting a little getting a little bit of a, uh, a slime they do they do um, but that's what you get from an aged deer um, but we get we're gonna be able to save most of it anyways I'll show you the back strap over here it's just the end the very end of it so what I'll do is I'll cut that off and then they'll get the rest of their back strap well I wanted to show you that We have made it to lunchtime. All right, we've got one, two, three, four, five done already. Pretty good. Got some little ones coming up. That's awesome. And I'm gonna having my Whopper Juniors, the healthiest lunch around. And it's been snowing off and on. And we're getting some stuff done. Everybody else wants to get their lunch, and then we'll get back at it. We got a headless deer here. Pretty awesome. But yeah, we're winding them down. So we're hoping to be done by Thursday probably. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm going to eat my lunch and we'll see you when we get back to cutting and some interesting stuff. All right, guys, please refrain from laughing, but it really sucks because our next, uh, our next deer is all stew. And that is a pain. So check this deer out. Oh, jeez. I mean, it's almost as big as the sawzall. <laughs> so, all right, we're gonna get to town, making some stew meat, well, they are, and then <laughs> I'm gonna do some steaks. So, we'll see you in a minute. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> all right, we're watching, they're gonna watch us. They're gonna watch us for a minute. No. <laughs> we like to have some fun on here, folks. That lens is always dirty. Let me clean that for you. Sweet, 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 sweet. <laughs> my knife, my knife is bigger than a deer. <laughs> Careful. They want their back straps on. Yeah. <laughs> they got ears? <laughs> sort of. No, they, they tried to take them out. But... You might be able to get that one. Well, they took one out. We're doing surgery here, folks. Taking out this major back strap. Ugh! Look how big that is. Ugh! Might be able to save it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this, it almost reminds me of a rabbit or something. <laughs> kind of. It's weird doing that. I see what you're saying now, Dad. Now that I actually turn around long. I'm used to it hanging. It's easier to cut them out hanging. <laughs> <laughs> you got that? But it's kind of neat to be able to go into it from like, no, like doing a fish. I thought it might be easier to do yeah. it that way. I've never really done one like that way. Right? You want to get there? It actually it is pretty easy. Like I said, it's like you're doing a fish. Alright. Oh wow. 
One extra. No, we did it. <laughs> no. It's just one time. Yeah, one time one time offer. It's yeah. the end of the season, we're having a good time. Doing things doing different. My knife can almost cut through the ribcage. <laughs> yeah, I, I cut that with my hand and karate chop. You gotta focus though. Oh, snap! Yeah. I barely even touched it and they just you know, inertia shot right down through. It's pretty good, Kenny. <laughs> Two back straps. Put it over. Oh, let me get the surgery plate out of the way. I get to go take. Go go team. Yeah. Can the camera see me right here? No. Nope. Alright, we're gonna come over here. I don't I haven't shown I guess I was looking back through my YouTube and I haven't shown much of um, doing a deer. So we'll let you watch me do this tiny little inner here. Which they kinda chopped up. It's kinda gross to be honest. But we're gonna clean it right up. Cut that nasty piece off. There ain't much here, so I'm gonna try to go very lightly under the skin. That's pretty much it. We'll flip it over and see what's on the bottom of it. And they want half inch. I wouldn't even cut that. <laughs> you sure? I can cut a half inch. <laughs> It'd be cut right in half. <laughs> it's like four cuts. <laughs> Maybe. I'll just put it on a tray. Yeah, that's what I would do. There, there's their exquisite inner. <laughs> it's like a, a Slim Jim, one of the that's, little Slim That's like a, a snack. Like you cook it and then cook the rest of the food. Yeah. And then we got a little miniature back strap here. It's nice to have a little deer. All season they've been like 170, 180 at least. Yeah. I mean, honestly, there was a lot more bigger deer shot this year than last year. Oh yeah, I have to agree. Because I think it was because of that winter we had where everything was warm and easy they could get to the food. Yeah. You know, was it buried in snow? I still think that part of the wildfires in Canada had a lot to do with sending some of them bigger bucks down this way. My theory, anyway. Hasn't been proven by biologists or anything, but it makes sense that they'd want to flee away from the fire. I didn't bring some of the big brook trout with them. Yeah, I was just thinking that. <laughs> hey, buddy, come on down here in Maine. <laughs> hey? <laughs> they got some pretty good sea smells down here, hey? <laughs> All right, they want a half inch, so we're going to go right in. Fatigue. Deer season fatigue. You start going crazy towards the end of it. <laughs> like crack to a meat cutter at the end of deer, towards the end of deer season is not answering your phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are no longer taking deer. That's what the voicemail says. And then you got a back strap. Put that on the right. And then we'll go do this little other little back strap. There ain't nothing on that. 
don't even know if you guys can see, but hopefully you can. Take off that edge. And just like that, two back straps cut up. Sweet. Dude. What's mine say? <laughs> See you. All right, it's the end of the day. We got uh, seven deer done today. Um, on top of that, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the, some of the cutting I did on the aged deer and some of the other footage I caught. Um, it's common right down because we're not taking deer anymore, so there's not as many people coming in. I think Kenny said he's got one more. Yeah. He's taking one more, and it was already scheduled, so after that one, there will be no more coming in. Um, this is all the deer that we got left in the cooler. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll see you next time. Keep on naturing. Peace.